I want to introduce your head coach, Rick Neuheisel. Yeah! Rick Neuheisel. Matty, thank you. Uh, hey guys, I can't thank you enough for coming out tonight. Obviously, it's uh, been a rough year. Uh, not certainly what we uh, hoped for when we gathered a year ago. Uh, and, and there's lots of reasons for that, but no excuses. Bottom line is, I'm here as the head football coach to do everything I can to deliver what you all deserve, which is a top, top program and a program that competes for championships back at uh, our great school, UCLA. And I, and I promise you that uh, everything that's been going on, even though it doesn't come as fast as you'd like it, uh, <laughs> it is, is pointed in that direction. I can only ask you to, to uh, trust me and to know that uh, while I may look, I may I have the appearance of a duck that's sitting on water doing nothing, my feet under the water are going as fast as I can. And, and I'm going to get us a great coaching staff. I'm going to get us a bunch of guys that are committed to bringing back a championship so we don't have to say Matt Stevens is the last Rose Bowl champion. <laughs> Actually, Matt said that he doesn't want to be that trivia question anymore. But uh, I, I'm committed to getting that done. As far as the day's events, it, it was, uh, as usual, an exciting day. Uh, big news, Tory and White uh, putting on an SC helmet or an SC hat and uh, all but breaking my heart. And then a half hour later, his dad calling me and saying he just can't sign it. He, uh, he just can't do it. Doesn't make him happy. And so Tori got on the phone and he said, Can I, is there still room for me? I said, Get to the closest facts. <laughs> we might be able to squeeze you in. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But the bottom line is, uh, he, he knew where the place was. Right, and right. Uh, as all of us know where the place is. And we're not chasing a pipe dream, gentlemen and ladies. We are not chasing something that's impossible. We're not chasing something that's uh, out of out of uh, sight. It's right there. We've got a great nucleus of young players. Hopefully you'll be out for spring ball. Be excited to watch these kids play. A number of them played last year. Guys that you all saw, Cassius Mars, Keith Riley, Jordan Zumwalt, uh, Malcolm Jones, all those guys, freshmen. You saw uh, a number of kids, Richard Preho, Randall Carroll start to develop and, and become big fun guys. We're actually going to have an offensive line that's returning. We got Kai Maiava and Jeff Baca coming back. It's going to look like a football team. Yeah. And, uh, and now it's important that I put the pieces together in the coaching staff so there's absolutely harm absolute harmony in that room and we go out there and coach like hell and put together uh, our best chance to come back and be the team that you all deserve and want to watch play in the Rose Bowl. So let me just say this. I appreciate you. I appreciate the fact that you're mad that uh, you don't like this guy and you don't like that guy and all that kind of because that means passion. But trust me, 
I know what it's going to take to win. I've won before. I've been in the top ten three times. I'm not saying that to remind you. I'm not saying that to pat myself on the back. I'm just saying that you can count, you can count on me. You know how I bleed. I bleed blue and gold. This is where I'm at. end my career, and, and not anytime soon, <laughs> but this is what I want, and I'm going to work tirelessly until I get it done, so just trust that the work's getting done, trust that whoever comes in here will have the right stuff, they'll have the right pedigree, and if you get behind him, whoever they are, then things are going to happen in the way you want them to happen, and we're all going to be back here next year celebrating a hell of a 2011. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you.